This week on Maker Update, Pterodactyl Automata, a tachometer for your tools, poster tack for your tech, Hackaday Super Conference, understanding screws, and making better projects. It's Wednesday, July 12th. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I'm having a good week. I've been spending some time clearing out some space in the garage, and uh, even enough space that I made a little workbench in the corner. I made a workbench out of some scrap wood. It's nothing fancy, but it's another surface for me to junk up with stuff. And who doesn't need another one of those, right? Uh, I hope you're having a good week. I found a nice little mix of projects and tips to share with you this time around, so let's get right into it. First, check out this hand crank automata of a pterodactyl by Greg Zumwalt. The entire design, bolts, wings, and gears, and stand are all 3D printed and each individual file is available right from Greg's Instructable. The assembly instructions are well written, have clear, beautiful photos. A lot of the parts have small, detailed threads on them, so you'll need a printer with nice resolution. Greg's using an Ultimaker 2 Plus. I think it would be cool and probably pretty easy to modify the profile outline to not be a pterodactyl but be whatever else you might want, like a bird or a flying pig or a dragon. Or you could even modify it so that it looked more authentically like a skeleton with like ribs and all kinds of other bones sticking out. There's some good remix potential here. For a more practical project, I'm really tempted to build this DIY tachometer from Bill Earl on Adafruit Using a Pro Trinket, a four digit display, and a reflective IR sensor, Bill made an RPM readout that can easily be adapted for a drill press or a lathe or a bandsaw. So long as there's a clear contrast stripe on whatever is spinning, the sensor can count each revolution. All in, the total project cost is around $35. I'm thinking of maybe adapting this for my go-kart. Speaking of which, in news this week, there's a new issue of Make Magazine out. It's volume 58 focusing on the Maker community. And early in, there's a little Maker Fair roundup with a photo of me and the kitty. John Park's also in there with his DIY Lucio Blaster, and there's a great profile on the guys behind Megabots. Check it out. Also, Hackaday announced that tickets are officially on sale for their annual Super Conference. It takes place on November 11th and 12th in Pasadena, California. If you're interested in presenting a talk or a workshop at the conference, there's a Google form for pitching your idea. And is it just me or do the Hackaday promo videos kind of make you want to put on some black eyeliner and chain smoke with a complicated vaporizer? The promos are so cool, but it's a little intimidating. This time around for my cool tools video review, I'm going to show you guys something super cheap. How cheap, Donald? $3 cheap. That's what I paid for this poster tack as an Amazon add-on. And I'm going to show you why I think it's a good item to keep in your toolkit. And if I do a convincing job, I would love it if you could use the link in the video description to pick some up, uh, which helps to benefit my videos and the Cool Tools blog. If you do any soldering, you probably have a pair of helping hands or some bulky, heavy thing like this that can hold your project or components steady while you wire them. They're useful, but a little clunky to travel with, and they're often overkill if you're just splicing a wire or two. In terms of price and portability, Poster tack is a great alternative. The first problem it solves is what I call the wandering board problem, where you're pushing your project around the table as you're trying to solder it up. Using a glob of tack to temporarily fix your board in place makes the job a lot easier. The second problem solved by tack is component to component soldering. Maybe you need to put a resistor on the leg of an LED or splice two wires together. Everyone has their way of doing things, but for me, in terms of convenience, Few ways are faster than just sticking the pieces down with tack and hitting it with some solder. I know I'm not the first to think of it. You've probably heard this advice before, but if you're like me, you always forget to grab this stuff when you're at the store. So do us both a favor. Use the Amazon link here, throw $3 at it, and see if it helps you out. And remember, you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools and hacks like this at cool-tools.org. Speaking of cool tools, this week they've got a great podcast episode up with Colin Cunningham from Adafruit. Give that a listen. While you're at it, check out the Essential Craftsman YouTube channel featuring Scott Wadsworth. Scott has a great video covering everything you'd want to know about screws. I learned about it through Gareth Branwin and his tip of the week on MakeZine. 
It inspired me to pick up some Torx head screws to fasten together my new workbench, which I love. I love these screws, and now I'm a total Torx snob. And don't miss out on Becky Stern's new instructable and video on five tips for documenting projects. From her time at Make and then Adafruit and now her own channel and instructables, nobody has better chops at writing up and filming DIY projects than Becky, in my opinion. And let's be real, the foundation of the whole maker movement is about showing others how to make things. If we're not striving to be better about showing and telling, then we're really not bringing people in and making more makers. So thank you, Becky. Maker fairs this weekend, we have three, including Bodensee in Germany, Jian, China, and Waterbury, Vermont. Also, I got an email from Jeffrey Rowe in Dublin, Ireland, who's organizing an event called Dublin Maker on July 22nd. So if any of those places and dates sound like a good fit for you, go out and get inspired. And that is it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, whatever you got, do all those things. And I've got a link to the poster tack in the video description. If you can pick some of that up for three bucks, it makes me happy too. And uh, what else? That's all I got. Have a great week. I'll see you next Wednesday.